Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video and today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS X441N version. This is the model number at the back, it says it. X441. This applies for any X441 uh, series. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to replace your battery for this model. So, um, first thing first, you want to power it up, obviously. Uh, once you have it powered up, you want to flip it over to the back end of the laptop. Now, what we need to do, we need to remove all the screws at the bottom cover. The four screws in the front end of the laptop, which are this one, one, two, three, four. These screws at the front end of the laptop, those are a little bit shorter than the rest of the uh, screws at the back. In order to remove the screws, you need to get yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. They have a really nice good uh, tool set over here. And we're gonna be using bit number Phillips zero. So, and let's go ahead and remove the screws. The back corner screws first come off. These are the really long screws. The two mid ones at the back. And the one in the other corner. Yeah. These are the same size, so don't worry about mismatching those. You're gonna remove the mid ones, one in every corner. Now we're gonna remove the one in the front of the laptop. These are a the little bit shorter than the rest. They look almost identical, but they are about one millimeter shorter. Don't make mistake by putting the long ones in the front, otherwise it's gonna damage the front, the palm rest in the other side. You're gonna get a little bump in the other side. The front and the screws, they're all the same size, so you can keep those separated. Now, once you got these ones removed, what you need to do, you need to find yourself an opening tool. I use the a guitar pick to as an opening tool as it has a really nice soft edges and is really tough and really really handy to opening stuff and what you want to do you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover just like that about two millimeters in or about one maybe and then you want to just twist it and you're going to hear clicks you want to hear those clicks all around it go in front don't worry, you're not gonna break anything. You just wanna snap out those hinges, those clips. So go all the way to the back. A little bit of force, not too much. And depends how old is your laptop. You might break one or two of these hinges, those clips. It's not a big deal, it's really normal, okay? Once you remove the sides and the front, you can just separate it, but don't yank it because right down there there are two flex cables that we need to remove this one over here and this one over here this is the touchpad and this is the keyboard to remove it you need a tweezer grab yourself a tweezers and remove this plastic the tape over these ones you're not going to need the tape but if you want you can reuse them and remove the tape over the other one now down here what you want to do in order you don't want to yank these cables out otherwise you're going to damage them you want to lift up this white cover 90 degrees upward so put your finger at the back and just lift up 90 degrees and pull the ribbon cable out same thing with this one just lift up this white cover back there and then slide out the ribbon cable all right now that we removed the flex cable then we can simply just go ahead and lift up the palm rest which has a keyboard and the touchpad right here there's nothing else in here down here the battery is going to be all the way to the back end of the laptop to remove the battery it it has a little adhesive tape at the back end of the battery is holding it you want to find yourself a flat screwdriver or something like that or something like this i'll try to find a link for this ones or anything like this flat and hard you want to put it at the back you want to just break the seal for the adhesive 
just a little bit okay once you break the seal then you want to lift it up from this corner there we go now you want to twist it actually went back down you want to grab it like this and you want to twist it so you can scoop out this co connector right there so let me see if there's a screw back here i don't want to do something ah, look guess what there's a freaking screw right in the corner so sometimes some models they don't have the screw and some models do have a screw this version is the 441n i believe the 441s version doesn't have this screw Check it. If you have the screw right there, you want to remove that screw. Now, let's go ahead again. Lift it up and then scoop it out. Just twist it and bring the battery out. There we go. That's your battery. These are three cell batteries. These are the 18, 18650B batteries, lithium. You can actually change these ones if yours is dead. I'll leave the model in the the battery model. It's A31N1537. I repeat that. That's A31N1537. That's the model for these batteries. Let's say you got the new batteries in. Same way that you put this one out. You want to scoop it out. Scoop it inside. But let's remove this one for now. When you remove this one, be careful, you have to disconnect the power jack for the fan. Disconnect that and then rip this one apart. Bring it to one side. Now, what you want to do, you want to lift up a little bit the motherboard right there. And you want to shove this one underneath. Right there. And then it should go in place. Right, and you want to tuck it in there. You're pretty much scooping it inward. Right, and then you place it right in there. Put the shield on the top, connect the connector right there, and put the uh, screw that you removed in the corner by the battery connector. Put that one right over there. All right, now that we have the battery in there, what you want to do, you want to grab the top cover, put it in this position, close the laptop in 45 degree angle. Now, down here, you want to connect the first the flex cable. You want to connect the flex cable, so you want to open up this lock right here. So open it up 90 degrees and slide the flex cable from the back evenly underneath this connector. Make sure it's evenly connected underneath and then you want to close the lock on the top. You have to make sure it's nicely evenly inside there. Again, same thing with this one, 90 degrees. Get the cable and slide it right underneath right there and hold it and then close the lid now if you want to go ahead and put the tapes these tapes are there for it so it won't open but it will never open so don't worry about it not that you're going to open it up all right once you have it in there then you want to close it what you want to do now, you want to pinch the sides and the front and you're going to hear those clicks. And do this back end too. All around. Okay. Now uh, the last thing will be just flip it back down and put the short screws in the front end and the long screws mid towards the back side. And I really hope that you guys like this video and it helped you guys out. And if it did, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys have any requests or any questions, leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. And again, if you guys subscribe, it will be much appreciated. And I'm just going to finish this one and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. And there we have it.